Good morning. It's 4 a.m. So cold. We are going to try our attempt to summit Mount Hudson. Wish us luck. Sunrise at 10,000 feet. Clouds rolling in on the peons below us. Yeah. 10,800 <laughs> feet, peak of San Jacinto. Oh. Really? I like that there's a fucking tree growing right here too. Worth all the blowdowns, all the snow trudge. Incredible. Tallest thing out here for miles. I feel very accomplished. I still can't believe we're up here. Uh, when we first started, I was terrified. Uh, the talk of the town will tell you not to do it. It's too scary. It's too dangerous. Make your best judgment, read the reports, go see the trail for yourself, there's plenty of bailout points. Um, otherwise, you'd miss out on this incredible opportunity just because you're scared. So, I'm very happy that we did this. Now we start the descent. Going up is hard, going down is easy. Whee! I usually post our videos a few days behind, but I want to say this just so people can have a reference. Today is April 13th and we made the summit to San Jacinto at 7.15. So, um, and then of course the days following up to today is when we started at PVC again. <laughs> you walk past it. Aww. It's like Hickory looking for a treat. Else? Yeah. We made it back down. I left my bag at the junction. I very much trusted it here um, so I could climb up the mountain with ease. There has been nobody here, so we've kind of been the only ones to attempt Jacinto, as far as I know. Um, there have been very few footprints, so. And the sad thing is we did have to leave our trail family behind, but hopefully we'll catch back up to them. Chris and I are the only ones who made the attempt to, oops, peace be in, sorry. <laughs> made the attempt to um, do the Jacinto Summit. So well, I think we both feel pretty successful and yeah. Powerful, empowered, you name it. We're, we're on top of the world right now. It's a pretty deep hole. Right. This is where we had our fire last night. Cool. This random guy named Stefan also joined us at the summit. <laughs> he didn't want to do it alone, so he hung out with us. I'm not that random. <laughs> These views just never disappoint. It's crazy being so far above the clouds. I can't get over it. Okay, so the plan for today is to get back into Idlewild and then from Idlewild we'll, we will hitch to the I-10 and then get back on trail from there. 
Um, we're not going to beat ourselves up for missing the 20, mi <laughs> 20 miles, uh, or 27 miles rather, um, for not doing the Fuller Ridge. Um, I think that we did a pretty substantial amount of miles just by doing Splitler and then doing the summit. So, yeah. Yeah, there's a front coming in tonight, so we're going to try to get somewhere, pitch a tent before the rain. Uh, it actually is looking like it might not rain. The clouds are rolling out, but we're still so high up above the clouds, it's hard to tell what's what's going to happen in the valley. Yeah. So we're going to get off this hill and get some town food and then make a choice. Oh, there. and then today we might actually get to meet Mayor Max, so that's pretty Ooh. exciting. I also want to say that we are both from Georgia, so neither one of us really have like hiking in the snow experience. Um, if you are smart, you take your time, you use your crampons, you have your ice axe, you will be okay. It is scary, it is dangerous, but again, use your best judgment and go out there, have fun. I ripped my pants right before we got to Idlewild the first time. And instead of spending $140 on a new pair, we walked to a thrift store and got a pair for $13. So always check your thrift stores whenever you're in town. If you need a piece of gear, clothing, or what have you, you might save some money. Hey Max, who's a good mayor? Who's a good mayor? Uh, you're going to hold an annual election for it was fundraising for animal rescue. Who's a good mayor? And that was a dollar per boat, and that's how the whole thing I worked. I love him so, so much. Two thirds of the boats in the beginning, and that was great. And as we got towards the end, it's weird. Like just a few hours ago, we were on top of San Jacinto. Now we hiked all the way back down to Idlewild. Crazy. Post summit treat. Today was a huge day. Amazing, my favorite day for sure. Yeah, we accomplished something that not many hikers have accomplished this hiking season so far. We made it to the summit of San Jacinto and we went through a lot to get there. So we're camping in Idlewild and we're gonna get back on trail on I-10 tomorrow, like lunchtime, cause yeah. it's gonna rain overnight, snow here, but rain in the valley. So we'll hit it tomorrow morning at I-10. Yep. I'm so excited. We we both feel very accomplished. Very tired. Yeah. <laughs> on the way up the mountain, we both kept singing um, On Top of the World, On Top of the World by Imagine Dragons. And that same song uh, got my dad through, it got him the courage to go through his liver transplant. So it really helped me work up the courage to summit that mountain. So that was pretty... <laughs> Pretty emotional too, and pretty exciting. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow.